external counter pulsation therapy. Find out why more physicians are recommending ECP therapy. What is ECP? External counter pulsation, or ECP, is a non invasive treatment for patients with coronary artery disease. This treatment is designed to increase circulation of blood flow in the heart. This treatment is specifically for patients with angina pectoris, or chest pain. Patients with congestive heart failure also respond well to treatment. ECP therapy is used to treat CAD without bypass surgery or angioplasty. ECP is a painless outpatient procedure performed in a doctor's office or in an outpatient department of a hospital. The treatment goals of ECP are to decrease symptoms of chest pain, increase energy and stamina, increase exercise tolerance, and improve the patient's overall quality of life. ECP, an alternative to surgery. The objective of bypass surgery or angioplasty is to restore blood supply to areas of the heart distal or beyond blockages. ECP is a non-surgical option that can produce similar results to a bypass surgery or angioplasty. ECP can restore blood flow to the coronary arteries, improving overall blood supply. Millions of Americans are living with coronary artery disease. Coronary artery disease, or CAD, is the most common cause of cardiovascular disease. CAD is often caused when fatty plaque builds up and calcifies causing arteries to narrow and harden. Over time, blockages form, reducing blood flow and oxygen delivery to the heart muscle. With this diminished blood supply, the demands of daily activities can become limited. Symptoms may include chest pain, commonly referred to as angina pectoris, shortness of breath, or fatigue. How is ECP provided? ECP therapy consists of 35 treatments. Each treatment is one hour per day. A full course of therapy is typically completed in seven weeks. Patients lie on a treatment bed with a series of cuffs wrapped around their calves, thighs, and buttocks. These cuffs are similar to blood pressure cuffs. Three electrodes are placed on the patient's chest to obtain a heart rhythm. The pressure cuffs will begin to inflate and deflate in time with the patient's heart rhythm. The cuffs will inflate after each heartbeat when the heart is at rest. This time is known as diastole. The inflation of the cuffs provides a squeeze of the blood vessels in the lower extremities. This returns blood back toward the heart. The cuffs will then deflate prior to the next heartbeat. An ECP technician remains nearby during treatment. This is to facilitate therapy and ensure patient safety and comfort. Patients can watch TV, listen to music, or sleep during their hour of treatment. Vital signs, like blood pressure and heart rate, are taken before and after each treatment. The current device has three sets of air pressure cuffs. These cuffs are wrapped around the patient's lower extremities. One set of cuffs is wrapped around the patient's calves, another around the thighs, and the last set is wrapped around the buttocks. For one hour a day, the ECP device provides mechanical assistance to the heart. This assistance increases blood flow and oxygen delivery to the heart muscle. In turn, this allows the heart muscle to work more efficiently. A full course of ECP therapy can produce long-term effects and benefits. When the cuffs are inflating around the patient's legs, the blood is being squeezed back toward the heart. This increases cardiac output, or the amount of blood that circulates each minute, benefiting all of the body's tissues and vital organs. Blood flow to the coronary arteries is also increased, providing the much needed oxygen and nourishment to the heart muscle. During cuff deflation, blood rapidly returns to the areas compressed in the lower extremities. This decreases vascular resistance and reduces the effort exerted by the heart when it contracts. Cardiac workload, or how hard the heart has to work, is also reduced. The combination of cuff inflation and deflation improves the overall function of the heart. 
The seven weeks of ECP therapy helps the heart form new vessels around blockages. These new vessels are called collateral vessels and are considered to be the heart's natural bypass. These new collateral blood vessels restore blood flow to the heart muscle, thereby improving cardiac function. The benefits of ECP are vast. ECP is a non-invasive procedure that with proper screening provides little to no risk to patients. ECP has been proven to reduce angina symptoms or shortness of breath. ECP reduces medication and increases both energy and exercise abilities. ECP improves overall quality of life with results that can last for years. Most importantly, ECP offers hope to patients who have undergone bypass surgery or angioplasty in the past. Am I a candidate for ECP therapy? Candidates for ECP therapy include patients who experience angina, shortness of breath, or fatigue on exertion. These symptoms can often be felt when walking, climbing stairs, or performing daily activities. Candidates for ECP also include patients who have congestive heart failure caused by coronary artery disease. ECP candidates also include patients for whom medication does not provide adequate relief of symptoms. ECP can also help many patients that are not candidates for bypass surgery or angioplasty. There are many cardiac patients who have undergone bypass surgery or angioplasty in the past and their pain has returned. There are also many patients who do not wish to undergo any further surgeries. All of these patients are potential candidates for ECP therapy. Clinical studies that were performed show that ECP will reduce angina symptoms, improve a patient's tolerance for exercise, and reduce a patient's use of heart medication, such as nitroglycerin. ECP will also help improve many patients' quality of life. The future of ECP. In the late 1990s, the FDA cleared the device for use. Shortly after, Medicare also approved reimbursement for many cardiac patients. Today, most private insurance companies also pay for ECP therapy. Although ECP is currently used to treat cardiac disease, some research suggests that ECP may be used to treat other forms of disease in the future. Commitment to your health. Make a commitment to both ECP and to yourself before starting. ECP is one hour a day for 35 days. Be patient. ECP is not an instant cure and success does not happen overnight. Results are typically felt between the second and third week of treatment. Expect a commitment from your doctor and the office staff to deliver the best possible ECP therapy. Results vary from patient to patient. One patient lists the following symptoms before ECP treatment. A lack of energy. The patient was sleeping nearly two-thirds of the day. The patient was left feeling exhausted after only walking 200 yards. The patient was suffering from constant chest pain. The patient's skin was paper thin and bruised very easily. The patient also suffered from insomnia and sleep interruption. The same patient reports the following results after ECP treatment. The patient was delighted that the therapy was completed before a recovery from surgery could have occurred. The patient's sense of humor and sense of well-being had returned. The patient had the energy to walk at least two miles a day and babysit his grandchildren. The patient's blood pressure was lowered and circulation in both his legs and feet was improved. Lastly, the patient reports waking up every day full of energy. ECP therapy, one squeeze closer to a healthy heart. Your physician, who's familiar with your medical history, believes that you may be a candidate for ECP. Thousands of patients have benefit from ECP, and you can be one of them. For this reason, more physicians recommend ECP therapy. Before beginning, discuss any concerns you may have with your physician, office staff, or ECP technician.